actually go out and find individuals who are living in the woods or on the beach or in cars, um, just all different types of places that we find them. And then we, what we do is we engage them and try to build a relationship so we can then provide services for them, hopefully get them hooked up uh, into shelter downtown. Um, and then hopefully get them into some kind of permanent housing. But we take care of whatever their needs are right then and there. That's the way we first start. You know, how can we help you? We're just, all we're doing is trying to survive. Some people might go out and bother people for change, but nobody really sits there and gets in anybody's face and starts anything. I mean, I try to get out and work when I can. And when I got money, I come back here and make sure these guys eat. Once you don't have an address, it don't matter what the address is on your ID, if you ain't got an address or a phone, Ain't nobody can get in touch with me. My wife and I have been homeless since uh, October 08. And it's been a hard run. The homeless were profiled as uh, possible drug dealers. We come up to camps and we yell out the Hope team and they're familiar with this. We're met, depending on the people that we're dealing with, um, a lot of the people that um, are what we call the hardcore homeless. They may be a little more suspect about us and so we really have to kind of prove ourselves to them. They may start out by saying, oh, well just give me a bottle of water, so we'll start out with that. And then maybe later we can give them a hygiene kit or give them a, a blanket or, or a t-shirt and things like that. And we continuously keep going out there, visiting them, seeing how they're doing, seeing if they have any medical needs. And then we hopefully can build that relationship up to we can finally say, hey, do you, you know, do you think you might want to get out of the cold or you think you're ready to come into some shelter? And there are many times when they call us and say, hey, I'm ready. In Jacksonville, I've lived here probably about six years. Well, I've known the Hope team ever since I've been here. I'm pretty close to 50 myself, but I've been an alcoholic for 35 years. I met a lot of fascinating people out here. Not just the bad. <laughs> just to identify and meet these people, hear their stories. You know, one of the things I emphasize to our HOPE team is, you know, we can pass out things all day, but really the main thing that the people are needing is just somebody to listen to. And to just say, hey, we're here for you. We can help. We can, you know, start out small, give you these little things, and then hopefully get them into some permanent housing. That's our ultimate goal.